Hello everyone. It is not uncommon for couples to experience diverse sex problems. They stay together without having sex at all, lose interest in having sex, or one partner wants active sex life but the other doesn't. Co conventional approaches that attempt to solve couples' sex problems usually focus on analyzing the visible phenomena that are recognized in the conscious and suggesting solutions for apparent issues. For example, when you are a sexless couple, you may be advised on how to get yourself engaged in having sex and so on. If you feel less interested in having sex than before, you may be introduced to diverse sex techniques that can enhance your sexual sensations. You may also be guided to form stronger bonds with a partner and try to understand each other's thoughts and feelings to feel closer to each other. As you can see, they are all solutions and suggestions at the surface level that don't address the fundamental cause of couples' sex problems. Approaches that deal with only visible phenomena actually cause even more serious problems by distorting the couple's ideas on human sexuality and leading them in the wrong direction in pursuing sexual happiness. Then, what is the fundamental cause of couples' sex, all sex problems? It is distorted concepts and ideas on sexuality that prevail in many societies and cultures. Many people think that Men are more active in having sex, must lead women, and should know more about sex than women. Many people think that women are naturally passive in having sex and have less information on sex. Of course, there are women who are active in having sex and lead men these days. This situation still causes couples' sex problems because both men and women still have distorted ideas on human sexuality. Problems cannot but keep growing unless couples have the right concept of sexuality and try to solve sex problems in accordance with the right concept. Sex problems occur when we become overly conscious about sex. My mind and Zest's mind operate in the opposite ways from each other and the operation of Zest mind is not recognized in the conscious. When you follow your conscious recognition in your my mind to guide yourself in meaning managing your sex life, you will only aggravate problems. You don't have to understand how Zest mind operates in detail. You just need to apply a couple of basic principles in your sex life. You only have to remember two things to re improve your sex life with your partner and solve sex problems. One is that men must not think about sex and must not try to be exposed to sexual information of any kind. They should try to perceive their partner as a woman they love and protect, not as a sexual object for pleasure. They don't need any sex technique then their sexual functions will be restored. The other is that women must know about how to have a good sex to satisfy themselves. It doesn't mean that they need to learn any sex technique or they should look sexually attractive. They should discard all the conventional concepts. Women should only focus on ways to gratify themselves in having sex. They must try to figure out what stimulations they like and when they feel satisfied physically and psychologically in having sex. When the couple can apply the two things in practice, women naturally lead men to comply with them. Then men can naturally satisfy women in the way women like, activating their sexual functions. Men generate passion looking at the woman partner being satisfied. Both men and women can enjoy having sex and achieve sexual happiness in the way they can accord with the operational mechanism of human sexuality. Neither men nor women must pay any attention to conventional concepts of sexuality and especially women must not pay any attention to the partner. Men should stay away from any sexual information to maintain healthy sexual functions 
and women must focus only on their own sexual happiness. Please remember that what you recognize in the conscious regarding sexuality is not the lighthouse that leads you in the right direction.